Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk to you about some insane FIFA 22 news that we learned yesterday from people playing the full game of FIFA. As a lot of you guys probably know, there are hundreds, probably actually a couple thousand people that are on the full game of FIFA 22 right now at this moment because they have been given copies by EA Sports or given codes by EA Sports to showcase the game a couple days early. Now, I am not one of those people. I will be joining in on the game on Wednesday, like most of you guys will be. So right now we're kind of just sitting in awe and sitting and waiting to see um, waiting to get our chance to get on the game. But with these players, these game changers and pro players getting on the game yesterday, we have a lot of information to talk through because there are some big changes that we learned through their showcase of Ultimate Team. Uh, just yesterday. And I want to talk about a few things today relating to pack animations, relating to the market and quick sell values. Interesting, right? EA changed a lot of quick sell values. A lot of new packs have been added. A lot of stipulations to packs have been added. And then I want to show some screenshots of division rivals, rewards, um, foot champions, the champions playoff, of course, as well, some new features in foot 22 and just talk a little bit about that stuff. Now, first thing is first, the full database is unveiled. It has been released. It is on FootWiz and FootBin. I believe FootBin has like 95% of the database. I think there's a couple cards that they don't have in it. But this released some brand new hidden gems, if you will, earlier uh, yesterday. Guys like 76 rated Ryan Kent, five star weak foot, four star skills. Look at that card. That is a scary non rare Ryan Kent card. Some of the other cards we found out about yesterday on Yeka has a really good looking card. Araujo, 77 rated um, as a Barcelona player, looks pretty solid. Silas, of course, 80 finishing on this card for a right mid that is 75 rated is pretty solid as well. So take a look through Footbin, take a look through FootWiz at a lot of those new cards of the full database that was released. There's some, uh, especially now, now is the time, this next 24 hours before we get into the game, um, or unless you're not getting into the game until the 27th or October 1st, now is your time when you can legit start building some of your starter squads with the full database being released. But let's talk about the pack animation. So a lot of these uh, pictures and clips I'm going to show you. I'm going to put the links in the description of the content creators that were opening these packs. Of course, you can go and check out their channels to watch uh, some of the stuff that was going on and some of the footage that they captured playing the game as well. And of course, shout out to a foot mentor who uh, was compiling a lot of these clips and we'll be looking at a lot of his tweets today as a part of this. So this is the pack animation, 100% confirmed. This is the pack animation in FIFA 22. Check this out. Of course, the packs look different. We'll talk about it. Just watch this. Really, It's so fast. It is so fast. Now, he actually packs a walkout here. He packs 88 rated Sterling. Very, very, very nice pull. And I want to take you through that pack animation again because you feel like you missed it because it is so fast. This pack animation is so unlike last year. You click to open the pack. There's a flash of light. And then, boom, you're walking to, towards like basically what would be the end of the tunnel in last year's pack animation. Now, EA has confirmed, they have said that this pack animation is going to stay the same. This is not just like a test or a beta or anything like that. The only thing, they are going to make one change, and you notice it here, is that Sterling actually started to walk out, and you could see Sterling, boom, you can see him right there, before it actually shows his card. So they're gonna make one change with this pack animation and make it so that Sterling would not walk out before his card. But again, this animation is just so crazy. It is completely unlike last year's pack animation just for the fact that it is so fast. And it, I think it is crazy. I think it is wild. I think a lot of people are not very happy about it, but I understand why EA did this, makes it a little bit faster. And it's kind of similar to some of the older pack animations. Still very, very fast. Just a lot different than last year and what we are used to. Now, speaking of packs, once again, this is how you tell with the new animation whether you got a normal pack, boards, or a walkout. It's very easy to tell this year. If you have no flares, just a regular pack. If you have two flares, one on each side, it is a board drop, which means I believe 83 or above. And if you have all of the flares, basically six flames across the front, that means it is a walkout 86 plus. So again, shout out to Matley Live for this nice graphic here. I'll put a link down below in the description to that if you wanna take a look at it some more, but it's very easy this year to know what kind of pack you are getting. Now, of course, you may have seen those and you're like, man, what are those? These are the new pack, I guess you could say like faces, the, the packs that they are using in FIFA 22 model, something that is very, very close to an actual in real life 
pack of cards that you would maybe go and buy with some football cards inside of it. It's made to look a lot more like a real pack of cards. I'm a huge fan of it. I think that icon design right here, I think that looks really, really nice. So I'm excited to see how these get decorated throughout the year of FIFA 22. Those will be really, really cool. And let's move on, man, because there's a ton of stuff to talk about from yesterday. I want to move into price ranges because this impacts the market a ton. And what they did is they lowered price ranges on players. They decreased a lot of price ranges on most players. They increased some other ones. And they also increased some consumable price ranges, which I'll talk about in a second. But players first, right? I believe last year, like almost all rare golds, unless they were very high rated, quick sold for like 650 coins, or if they were 75 rated, 600 coins. I believe that is the correct number, somewhere right around there. This year, Quick sell value is completely determined by rating. The 78 rated green one card quick sells for 555 coins. But then if you go up to like an 84 rated, I believe it is Savage. Uh, I saw a Savage today, 84 rated Stefan Savage that quick sold for a thousand coins. So very interested to see that as the card goes up, the quick sell value goes up. Now I just was showing Raheem Sterling. We saw a pie face pack Raheem Sterling. This card right here has a quick sell value of I believe like seven or six or seven thousand coins on the market. That is extremely increased from last year where Sterling's like price range was 1800 his quick sell value was probably that 650 that it was for like all gold cards so very very interesting to see that they have increased the quick sell value for a lot of these cards now obviously if you think okay if sterling's quick sell value is 6000 coins obviously the low end of his price range will not be below that you, you can't buy him for 3k and quick sell him for 6k it just doesn't work like that so i'm wondering this year if the quick sell value as price ranges change throughout the rest of the year, if quick sell value is going to fluctuate with the price ranges changing. And that could make for some very, very interesting times on the market when EA, and I, honestly, I, I don't like the sound of that right away because that means that EA has to update more things than just updating a price range. So that's not confirmed. That's just my thoughts. We will see if anything comes of that probably in the first couple weeks of the game. But of course, that was some big news today is seeing those price range differences. Now, one other thing, and this is where I want to talk about how it gets into impacting the market, is that you're not going to quick sell a Raheem Sterling. You're not really going to quick sell even a Savage, right? An 84 rated card, you're not going to quick sell this guy for a thousand coins. He's going to be going for a thousand coins or more, basically for the entire year of FIFA. There's really no reason to quick sell him. Same thing with the Sterling, in all honesty. So how does this affect the market? Well, you're getting less coins for those quote unquote discard players, whether they are rare or non-rare because non-rare golds used to quick sell for 300 to 350 coins, I believe, or 320 something coins for cards above 75 rated. And now they quick sell for like 250 to 260 coins. So the non-rares and the lower rated, I guess you could say discard golds, quick sell for less. That is gonna put less coins on the market. And I think EA is doing that to probably kind of like offset how much supply some of those preview packs will bring on if they're going to bring on so much you know coins because people are opening them especially with the fever points at the beginning of the game i'm th i'm thinking this is one of ea's ways they're trying to counteract more supply on the market is by lowering the quick sell value uh of these cards to put less coins on the game that's just my opinion and how they're doing it we'll see how it all works out we'll see what ea's plan with this is but that's just from a first look that's kind of where my mind goes now there's other part of this that does not make sense and that is some of the other consumables have increased drastically increased uh quick sell values take a look at this gold rare badge gold rare badges uh stadium themes tifos and i believe kits all of those cards in game have incredibly increased quick sell value. And right now for these guys that are on the game, if this is a glitch or if this is something EA has to fix, which I believe I was told that this happened last year with some of these cards as well. Last year, a gold rare badge quick sold for 56 coins, 56 coins, a gold non-rare kit or badge would quick sell for 30 coins. 
And right here, a gold rare quick sells for 485 and a non-rare, like that uh, RC Lens third kit that is right here beside this Galatasaray badge, that quick sells for 220, 230 coins. That's crazy. That is a crazy, crazy increase. And this is the stuff that gets quick sold more often than players do when you're opening packs, especially at the beginning of the game. So our argument here is that EA's decreasing price ranges uh, because these cards, they want to kind of counteract how much inflation happens in the market with preview packs and supply. But on the other end, they're increasing the quick sell value of these, which if they do end up changing the quick sell values in this back, and if maybe this is just an issue right now inside of the game, I'm not entirely sure. We could see some changes to this, but this is going to put a lot of coins on the market. I think that this has a bigger impact than the decrease on the players because you're going to pack more badges, kits, and stadium items than you are players, especially from 7.5k packs at the beginning of the game because that's the packs that everybody is opening, right? Take a look at this. One, two, three. This In this pack right here, I don't know if there's any players in this. This might just be a full consumables pack, but with two... He's got three cards in here with the Stadium three theme, Tifo and Tifo. Those are all 220 apiece. That's like 660 coins right there. These other two, he's basically up to 1,500 coins of quick sell value just like that. Last year, that same amount of cards right there with the quick sell value would have been 200 coins or around like 250 to 300 coins. This year, it's like 1,500. Crazy. That's a huge, huge, huge difference. And that is going to inflate the market if this is not changed by Wednesday. So I'm going to be keeping a very, very careful eye on that because that is going to do the exact opposite of lowering the player um, quick sell value. So that's one part of the market I'm very, very looking forward to and looking very close at because I think that's going to impact the market a lot. So we'll talk about market again in a bit, but a couple other things. Some of these brand new packs involve guaranteed ratings, which we've been asking for this for a long time. 100,000 coin packs, which is this is a 100K pack. Every single 100K pack, you are now guaranteed one player to be 84 plus. As you can see here, it says with one rare 84 plus guaranteed. So no more will you have 100K pack where you won't get boards. You will get boards every single 100K pack at least. So I guess that is a, a small dub, if you will. Doesn't mean that it's going to change the pack weight, but it's a small dub in the slightest. Let's take looking. Let's take a few more looks at some of these screenshots. This is from Zwayback. He was streaming earlier yesterday. You can see that the preview pack here versus the non-preview pack version has got the little eye on it. Of course, um, that's how you can. One of the ways you can signify with also the previewable. Uh, point here up at the top signify a preview pack versus a non preview pack that is nice to see now a couple other things i hear people talking about since the players that are getting on the game early are getting the full ultimate edition of fifa 22 they are getting their 4600 fifa points off the start if you are playing with ea play again this is a little thing that says content coming soon for the rest of us that are getting on with ea play our content will be starting on September 27th. So those 4,600 FIFA points, basically this is another confirmation that basically everybody that is not on the game yet will be getting their 4,600 FIFA points on the 27th for the Ultimate Edition release of Early Access. That was one of the loading screens inside of the beginning of the game. Here's a screenshot from Matt Foot Trading and also Ben from the Foot Weekly Podcast kind of uh, streaming together and showing inside of the game this is the home screen of the transfer market the point that i wanted to make here is if you look in the top left it no longer shows your record it shows your club name the established dates your coins and your fifa points you have to look way back in the back where the leaderboards were last year in fifa 21 on the menus under this club tab to find your overall club record so they are no longer um, showing that i guess People didn't like showing off their club records for whatever reason. So that is now gone. That is not there. Uh, speaking of packs, once again, I wanted to make a reference quickly to the pack weight yesterday. A, lo a lot of you guys probably saw players packing some insane cards. Um, the pack weight is in extremely juiced right now in the early stage. I would be, I would expect this to update, but inside of FIFA 21, I went and checked. It is a 4.6% chance of packing in 84 inside of FIFA 22 right now when all these... Um, these, I guess we could call them privileged content creators are playing the game at the moment. It is a very increased pack percentage on the game. So 
that is something to kind of take note of and take consideration of. Uh, we'll talk about the market on the game so far in just a second. I want to show you a few screenshots of the Champions Playoffs division rivals. Now, it shows in here, and this probably confirms that this is to get into the Weekend League. You have nine matches to play. Of course, a win gets you four points. And then a loss gets you one point. I think basically if you get like two or three wins, I think one win would move you up here. A second win would move you up to the next stage. And then a third win, if you win three games out of your nine total in this champions playoff, which this is how you qualify for the weekend league. It's basically like the daily knockout tournament from FIFA 18. You would, if you win three games, boom, you hit this little crest. And that means you are qualified for the finals. And then I basically think from there, you can take your rewards and go and have your qualification. Or you can continue to play one more game to reach here to get better rewards. So there is a lot of like tiered rewards. As we look at a lot of these screenshots, it does not make a lot of sense to all this right now. Uh, like rank one, he's, these are some of the rewards, right? Mega pack, rare gold pack, and a jumbo gold pack. Uh, as we just saw, like to get to this level right here, that was the rewards. For that number one stage it's just it's it's really confusing the way that it looks right now but it's going to make sense when you get into it. it it's just more than i can explain and sit here and, and look at this and tell you about uh at the moment but there's some milestone rewards as well we were looking at some of those castro was looking at some of those on his screen rivals rewards of course it's all based about like the rank one rewards versus the rank two kind of like winning three games or win seven games to get the level up rewards basically so it's, I know it looks very, very confusing. You're like, man, this is a totally different system. Again, the best way I've heard it described, and this was by the Foot Weekly Podcast by Ben, this is his face right there. Um, the best way that I think of it is, and he's described it, is completely forget about how the old ranking was before and how the old way of doing division rivals rewards was. Completely forget about that and relearn this one this year because that's going to be your best bet to help you not mess up your mind uh, too much going into this brand new FIFA. So... I want to take a look at some of these confirmed cards. Now, I don't know why um, Lacroix is showing us a rare. He is a non-rare confirmed by EA Sports. They posted his rating today. He is a non-rare. And I want to take a look at a couple price ranges because we're already seeing people on the game. And the prices that are on the game right now are very, very low. But I want to tell you about some ranges because this is going to give us our few players that we can start to eye as like maybe cards that are very, very cheap at the start of the game. This Lacroix card was about 30,000 coins on the market. I believe his price max is 30K on the game. He was hitting that price max when I saw on the beta. Eder Militao price range, 55,000 coins. He was very expensive as I saw uh, yesterday on the game. Renato Sanchez is a very, very interesting one. Right now, I believe in the game, Renato Sanchez is extinct at 15,000 coins. 15K. This is going to be one of the number one people, players, that people are going to be sniping at the beginning of the game to try to get this card because he's going to get a price range update and he's going way higher than 15K. So, just kind of write some of these down that are extinct or that you you know are talked about. I don't think that Footbin's going to update these price ranges. So if you have some of them in your mind and you kind of know, hey, these guys are pretty cheap or they're, I'm seeing prices that are very low, then uh, it's kind of good to kind of put those in the back of your mind. Uh, Varan and Mendy, Ferland Mendy, were extinct when I saw things on the game yesterday. Timo Werner has a price max of 350,000 coins. Hyunmin Sun has a price max of uh, 500k on the game. 500k is his max. I think that is pretty accurate. I don't know how high he will get close to that. I feel like 400k is maybe his peak. Maybe. One other card that I think is a little bit low for a price range at the start is Gareth Bale. I know he's got a really big downgrade in terms of pace, uh, but he is 15,000 coins. I feel like this card is going to be extinct. I feel like with the Real Madrid links, he still might be somewhere around the range of like 25 to 30K. Just my opinion. I think that bail card is a little bit too cheap. Joao Felix has a price range of 80K. I don't think he'll ever go extinct. I think that is too high for his card. I'm very curious about that one. A couple other cards I'm curious about. Bruno Fernandez, I believe, has a price max of 320,000 coins. And again, if we take a look back last year, at the 87 Bruno Fernandes. Now, I understand that he did have an inform very early on, which made his card uh, very, very expensive here at the beginning, but he was still 400,000 coins before that. So uh, he went out of packs and he was 500K. I think that Bruno's price range at 320,000 coins might be a, 
a shade low, but I don't know if there's enough hype. I don't know if people are saying he's very good. I think there is a lot of hype. Let me say that again. I think there is a lot of hype for Bruno with the Man U links, uh, but I'm, I think 320K, if he would go extinct, I don't know how much higher he would go. It's just my opinion right there. Marcus Rashford, I think, is going to be at a price point where he probably won't go extinct. He is 500, sorry, not 500, 300,000 coins as a price, max price on the game as it sits right now. So I'm not sure if Footbin is going to start updating these. I would be very curious to know if Footbin is actually going to start updating prices or FootWiz for that matter. I'm trying to keep an eye on both of these websites to see if they do start adding prices to the game. Again, a lot of these say updated never. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this to see who starts updating prices first. In my opinion, I think it's going to be FootWiz. FootWiz usually has a bit of the upper hand like right away because they have workings and deals with EA Sports to get that data easier than Footbin does. So keep an eye on FootWiz and FootBin at the start of the game as we get some of these informations and, and some of these prices pulled into the game for the first time. But again, that's the information. That's a lot of the information. There is even more. We're going to find out more today again as there's a second full day. One more day, boys. I'm telling you, we got one more day. It is tomorrow. We will all be getting on the game if you got EA Play or if you have EA access with the web app as well. You'll be able to get on for the first time. Some people think there's going to be like a, a soft drop of the web app. I would be, I really don't believe that. But if you want to, just be watching this page and just be watching in the next 24 hours the EA Play section of the PlayStation or Xbox store because it's almost here, boys. The time is almost here. But that is a lot of the news that we saw today with people on the full game of FIFA 22. I wanted to bring that to you guys today. If you did enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>